Well, I tell you what, folks, an amazing company in Wisconsin, R. Brown Incorporated, started 55 years ago in 1964 as a plumbing, heating, and electrical shop. But now they've grown to include farm equipment and much, much more. I'm Isaac Lemonis with R. Brown Inc. Um, we're a uh, manure special in, specializing company out of St. Nazian's, Wisconsin. Um, R. Brown Inc. specializes with anything from separation to uh, manure handling equipment that you'll see behind us. Um, we're an innovating, innov very innovative company. Um, always looking for improvements for the for the industry, um, whether it's technology, uh, techniques, uh, procedures. Um, that's the main thing that we're looking to strive and be a leader with the company. Um, this product that you'll see here um, is a 20-inch valve for the back of a semi tanker um, with uh, the unique unique feature of a pivoting pipe um, and a remote remote actuator. Um, our, our drive with developing this was, uh, you know, with, the, with more and more manure and these dairies getting larger and larger, the manure or nutrients has to be moved further and further away from the site. Um, with that comes trucking and comes different challenges with uh, manure, you know, keeping your manure or slurry area dumping zones clean. Um, so th this unit uh, features a swing up pipe. Um, that pipe will, uh, when we leave the uh, manure dumpster, which we'll see later, um, we can swing that pipe up. There's no no dribble, no you know no leakage. Um, we bring that trailer back to a legal DOT width, um, and the uh, remote kit is uh, you know another added feature of that that we developed to uh, make it make it simpler for the end user. The product that you see behind us is our manure transfer tank. This tank is developed to uh, be used in the process of moving manure further away from the farm. Um, to fields that are too far away to hit with a tractor tank or drag line process directly from the farm. Um, this tanker is set in the ditch or out in the field and our semi tanks will pull up parallel to this, this unit and dump the slurry down in here. Um, this is a technique that would use that the 20 inch valve with the swivel pipe to move the manure into this tank. The Brown Inc. Uh, 1012 twist, or Twister 1012 series cart was developed to to handle 10 inch, 10 inch hose. Um, this car will hold a mile and a quarter of 10 inch line, 10 inch hose. Um, we can hydraulically rotate or pick that hose up and deploy it off the hose cart. Um, this, this cart has a very unique upper drum assembly. It'll rotate around about 180 degrees from where we are right now. And the position that it is right now, we can roll in hose from the front right corner. This is the, to my knowledge, this is the only car that's unique to, to have that feature available in the industry, which, our customers have found to be greatly beneficial. With the different dynamics of pumping manure comes manure hose, manure hose carts, and the pump units. Um, behind me is a booster pump that we've developed. We've been developing the last two years. Um, this is our final, you know, one of our final products here, um, our most recent products that we've developed. Um, the booster pump is not just your plain Jane booster pump with a control panel that an operator has to sit by anymore. Um, what we're doing to advance ourselves in the, in the industry, we're trying to bring technology towards these products. Um, behind me, you'll see a, uh, see a control panel that is going to be a internet-based control, control system. We're gonna have a web browser at the, the, the tractor doing the application out in the field is gonna be able to operate this, this pump unit. He's gonna be able to throttle it up, throttle it down, start it, stop it, uh, monitor pressures, um, this system is going to have the capability to run an auto throttle, so if it senses a, senses a line rupture or a line leak, um, if it senses that in our parameters for PSI, this unit will automatically bring itself down to an idle or shut off, and it has the capability of sending text messages out to the uh, crew leaders. Um, technology is endless, what we can do here. Um, biggest thing is we got to let our imagination flow what we want here. What we have here is our Soil Star Minimum Disturbance Manure Injector. Um, this unit was designed with minimum, minimum disturbance injection in mind. Whenever anyone thinks about manure injection, they think about turning the, turning the ground black. Um, we're taking a different approach with this unit. Um, the Soil Star wheel, the patent pending Soil Star wheel, has these cups that you can see here. And as it rolls through the ground, these cups make a vertical slit into the ground. And as it rotates around, we're creating a vertical lift. Um, the, unique part, the unique thing that's happened with this unit is as this ro is rolling through the ground, we're creating a vertical fracture, which is creating fracture lines out. Um, we're seeing minimized, minimized nitrogen streaking, uh, minimized 
you know, the, the high and lows for, the, for the green corn out of this unit. Um, another neat feature that we have with this is a hydraulic down pressure, both on the, both on the row unit and the closer, closer arms. The closer arms is, is a new feature that we added to spring. Um, with both these units, we're going to have a control system that's going to be in your tractor cab. And we're going to be able to adjust down pressure to get the target, target injection job that that operator wants. This toolbar has manure drop hoses every 12 inches. Um, the unique part about this, the unique thing about this bar and the dribble bar concept is that we're drop, we're spreading the manure on top of hay ground within a week after chopping. All depends on your regrowth and whatnot, but we're not broadcasting across that whole, that whole um, plant or covering all the leaves with, with manure or slurry. Um, we're dropping in strategic 12 inch wide pat, pass or, or rows every inch and a half wide for a manure drop. Another great benefit about the dribble bar concept is we're not splashing the manure up in the air. We greatly minimize odor due to manure application um, for a top, top dress application because we're not, we're not spreading it out with a splash pan which creates fine particles that on days like today with a light, light breeze and particles will drift. Um, and also public perception is one of my biggest one of my biggest things. That's another that's one of the reasons why we developed the uh, swinging pipe. Also, public perception of what we're doing out in the field, um, with the with communities and every everyone watching us more. We need to be more and more aware of this. And the dribble bar helps with that because the to the general public they have no idea what we're doing out there. We have manure dropping close to the ground. We're not spraying it in the air. It's just a much much more appealing process to the eye. We encourage you to find out more about our, our great products here at Our Brown Inc. by follow, either following our social media sites on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or checking out our website at www.rbrowninc.com.